Hey music lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring your Nicholsworth and today from Girder Records once again we have the Res Band Awaiting Your Reply and Rainbows In. There's been a lot of talk of these two releases so let's get right down to it. I've got some stuff to compare it to. In fact, I believe this is probably going to be the ultimate Res Band comparison video that you've ever seen. So let's check it out. First of all, we have the Girder releases that are really beautiful. So let's start with Rainbow's End because I believe that's the cover that has really made the most difference. Scott Waters' work in this art is just incredible. So this is the original album. I actually bought this brand new, or not brand new, but I bought it unopened, like a new old stock. What's really cool about it is the sleeve slides in and out, but this baby is minty. Love it, beautiful. So anyhow, there's the front and the back, but you're gonna see something here. This one has some pretty bold colors, but as you get to the CD release, with this is actually the double disc that includes Awaiting Your Reply. We'll talk about that one in a second as well, but you can see that blue is really faded out. Compared, check it out compared to the original. Okay, so that's just a kind of part of what happens with age as things deteriorate, images get worse and worse. Same with the cassette. The cassette, you can see the blue is really washed out, the imagery, the rainbow, everything is just kind of washed out. It doesn't look as good. Well, introduce Scott Waters. Scott Waters comes in with his artwork and check out those bold colors. I even think that is bolder and more bright and more beautiful than the original album itself. Scott Waters just really kills it when it comes with the artwork, but it's not just the colors. Let's take a look at the inside as well. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. I love the Legends of Rock. I love that this has the rainbow backing. That's really slick. Of course, with Gerda Records, you're going to have your nice big font. Everything's going to be readable. And this is a re-release, which we'll talk about this in a second as well. That's not bad, but when you compare the two, I mean, there's just no comparison to the beauty. On the back of this one, you're going to see kind of just a song list, each record. And before, you could only get this on a double disc unless you were one of the lucky ones that found it on Gur. Not to be confused with Gerder Records, but Gur Records, which is a res band release. That remaster doesn't seem to have some of the issues that this one does. This is a 1991 remaster done by Denny Purcell, and this is the file. This is the master that Gerder was given. So that's another thing we're going to have to talk about in just a second. But let's first move into some of the artwork. First of all, the CDs themselves just look absolutely amazing. This one just has that 70s vibe. Look at the dragonfly, just really, really cool. This one here kind of has the color theme that's on the album cover, really sharp. So anyhow, now let's take out these liners because that is what really makes this stand out. Each liner really goes next level in making sure that you're able to get full color but check out the gloss there. Look, the windows are all nice and glossy while this has the matte finish. Res band is kind of raised. Rainbow's end is kind of raised. And then all the images again, just got that beautiful shiny finish. And look at that. Look at that rainbow's end right there. You can, oh, there you go. Check it out. That is just really cool. So then you get, of course, your lyric sheets that have bigger font lyrics. And again, the window has that gloss. And you know what? Some people may think, what's the big deal? These kind of little details are important and they show someone really cares about the work. Then you have, again, the pictures of each member of the band with those glossy images in the background, the rainbows in right there, and the window with the dragonflies there. I mean, this stuff is just cool. It's just a next level touch. I just think that it's really nice, really sharp, well done. Again, look there, the rainbows in. Then when we get into Awaiting Your Reply, you can see this is raised and shiny. Resurrection Band has the kind of shiny edge to it while this is a matte finish. And when you compare it to the original cover, of course, this is old. This thing is, I did not get this one new old stock. This is, this is damaged to all, all get out, but you can see it's faded out. But it's still, you can get an idea of how much better the color and the imagery is in here. This one will probably give you, this is a 91 remaster again of the cassette. So this will probably give you a better idea of the improvements that he made to just the cover. And this one is the original. This is before the remaster. This is, this is before the 91 remaster. And again, just a little comparison there, really sharp. Each one comes with really nice trading cards. And this one has the waiting your reply. Glenn Kaiser on the back gives you a little information about the album. And this one has also Glenn Kaiser, who is ultimately the leader of the band and some information about 
the album as well. So now let's take a look at the awaiting your reply inside portion, which is equally amazing. Check that out. Resurrection band, awaiting your reply, lyric sheet, information, pictures of the band. This is my favorite part right here. I don't know where this image was found, but it is absolutely beautiful. Got the telephone. This is really cool. I've seen this on the album. I'll kind of show you. It's this part of the album back here. So I don't know where they got the whole image uninterrupted by all this stuff, but it's really cool. Lyric sheets, again, just next level work. Incredible. Beautiful. I just absolutely love it. So now let's talk about the three versions. Okay, we have the, I'm going to use the cassettes because that's probably the best option. But we have the Gerda remasters. We have the Denny Purcell remasters from 1991 that was done by Starsong. And then we have the originals. Now, both of these were remastered. I have listened to the original CD as well, or I've listened to the 1991 remastered CD as well. And there are some issues with this remaster. And this is the remaster that Gerger was given. A lot of people like to complain and gripe about certain things, but whenever a company buys rights to music, they are given these masters and that's what they have to work with. They can't do anything else with it. They can't really do a lot of alterations because the file or the master is what it is. So what Gerder did is they took Denny Purcell's work, which I'm going to admit is probably average at best. And there's some kind of glitchy sounds every now and then with the guitars, especially at the beginning of Waves, where you kind of hear that kind of rattly noise. And while Gerder was able to improve these masters, you cannot fix the file that you get. So what's really awesome about this is what they've done is they have taken a work that was probably average at best and really made it outstanding. Number one, this music on the Gerda release, which is right here and right here, is outstanding considering what they were able to work with. Rob, who does these remixes, is just a genius when it comes to being able to fix and repair 50-year-old music and almost 40-year-old remasters. So when you're really looking at what we have to work with, what Gerder has done is really, truly miraculous, really, truly amazing. And not only that, this CD right now, if you look for it on eBay, it's $140 for the combo CD. The ones from Gerder Records, you can hang it up. If you go to Discogs, there are 29 people that claim they own them and about 40 people that are looking for them. You're not going to find them. And when you do, you're going to pay a premium price. You can get each of these for under $20 each right now on Gerder's website, fully remastered, and I think Rob Colwell did a beautiful job of fixing and really improving Denny Purcell's work from 1991. Are these masters perfect? They're not perfect, but that's not on Gerder. That is the product that they received, and what they did is they made them as good as possible. And I'm telling you, 99% of this is absolutely fantastic, and the 1% where there's a problem, that's a problem with the masters. You cannot recreate the masters. What you have is what you have. So good on Greg, good on Scott Waters, good on Rob Caldwell, and those three really make a dynamic and amazing team that gives us incredible music today that you cannot get at an affordable price. I'm telling you, this stuff is good. Check out Gerder's website. He has all kinds of product from Resband, from Petra, and beyond. Really amazing stuff. So anyhow, there you have it. Keep calm. Jesus on.